in this video i am going to show you how to kill any process actually what is process i am going to show you how to identify process okay uh, go to task manager click on this it will open see here here this is list out all the uh, available process all these process currently running in my system okay suppose in manual way if you want to close this chrome what will you do you just you will open this and uh, use this close button right so now i closed see this the uh, chrome is moved out from this list i am going to open notepad okay see this see notepad comes into this list so this is process name if i close this one it will go out okay sometime due to some reasons uh, any program can get stuck you cannot close in the normal way okay uh, also if in automation robotic process it automatically opened many uh, many instances like 500 1000 like that instance can open so at the time you cannot kill uh, close all the application one by one it is very very time consuming process so uh, in this situation we can kill all the process programmatically i am going to show you how to kill all this go to system get process so this get process going to give you all the process names okay so this output will be a collection that is uh, enumerable collection that is we can iterate it process list i given output name okay process list now we have to enumerate all the process names okay so what i am going to do is going to use for each Take for it. See, in the get process, I am going to process list, and this you have to type of argument. Here, this is the argument. So go here and click browse types here. process give process under the diagnostics click on this process okay this is your argument so now uh, i am going to show you display all the available uh, process names take message box item dot process name okay that's all it will display all the uh, process name i'm going to run this see okay like this it will uh, show you all the process names okay now i am going to kill any one of process for that go to system in this application kill process before that i am going to use effectivity because it has so many <coughs> list right so the iteration will be number of uh, according to the number of uh, uh process so uh, i no need to travel through all the process if loop reached my uh, application name then you should get stop uh looping get stop so i am going to use if activity it is not necessary but for performance i am using okay see 
here I'm going to open notepad okay see notepad okay, right so I'm going to kill this one item dot process equal to notepad okay then if it is if, uh, if it, <coughs> this condition satisfied then it will kill the process okay um, can go to application kill process process name we have to give the process name so we have to give the process name here item dot process so whatever uh, process name comes uh, here it will it going to get killed okay so in this situation exactly if it is a notepad comes then it will get killed so I am going to use break activity after killing see my aim is only killing the notepad so once it's killed a notepad it will um, come out from the condition uh, even if you want to suppose if you used to so many notepad then you remove this because it is going to kill only notepad but here I'm, uh, I, I already know that I have only one instance that's why I am using break activity because it unnecessary loop all the process list okay else condition right now for in this demo I don't have anything so leave it blank let's we run this then this automatically close okay and this see this notepad is closed okay not notepad not closed okay change this small n okay now open notepad let it run this see it will get closed yeah closed right now there is no um, notepad instance here like this way we can kill any process Thank you.